Hi everyone and welcome to Virtual Church for today, Sunday the 15th of November. Today we're going to read one of Jesus' parables. There are loads of parables in the Bible and a parable is simply a story that helps us to understand something. It's a story with a meaning behind it. And Jesus used loads of stories. He loved to tell stories to help people to understand how God wanted them to live. And today's story is about how we use the talents God has given us and how we use the things that we're good at to, for God. And to introduce this, I've suggested to you that you watch a video on YouTube of some children who are very small but do some very amazing things. The children in that video must have had to practice really hard to get so good at what they did. Now you might be thinking now, well I can't do any of that, I haven't got a good gift like that, I'm not really clever, I'm not really talented, I haven't got anything I can offer really. But actually we all have stuff we can offer to God. And if we offer stuff to God, he can turn it into something amazing, especially if we work hard as well with God to do the best we can. So let me read to you today's passage, which comes from Matthew's Gospel from chapter 25. And it's called the parable of the talents. Here's another story that Jesus told. Once there was a man with money, mounds of money, mountains of money, more money than you could ever imagine. One day, the man decided to take a long trip. So he called three of his servants together and told them what he wanted to do with his money while he was gone. The first servant was the hardest worker of them all. So the man said to him, here are five big bags of money. Use them wisely and we'll see how well you've done when I get back. The second, worker was a hard, the second servant was a hard worker too. So the man said, here are two big bags of money. Use them wisely and we'll see what you've done with them when I return. But the third servant was not a hard worker at all. In fact, he was rather lazy. So the man just gave him one bag of money. Use it wisely, he said, and we'll see how well you've done when I return. So the man with the money went away. And after a long, long time, he came back again. Tell me, he said to the first servant, how did you get on? What did you do with my money? Well, you gave me five bags of money, the first servant said. I put them to work. And I use them to do lots of good things. And look, now I have 10 bags of money. 10 bags altogether, exclaimed the man. With money, well done. You have shown me I could trust you. And now I have much bigger things for you to do. And what about you, said the man with the money to the second servant. How did you get on? What did you do with my money? Well, you gave me two big bags of money, said the second servant. I put them to work as well. I use them to do lots of good things. And look. I made two more big bags of money. Four bags altogether, exclaimed the man with the money. Excellent. And now I have a better job for you to do as well. Finally, the man turned to the third servant. And how did you get on? The third servant hummed and hawed and looked at his feet. Mm, well, mm, well, I know how much you like your money. And I was how disappointed you'd be if you'd lost it. So I dug a hole and I buried it in the garden. You gave me one bag of money, so here is your great big bag of money back. The man with the money was furious. Don't blame this on me, he shouted. I gave you that money to use to put to work so you could make some more. And you just couldn't be bothered. Stuck it in a hole? If you'd at least taken the time to put it in the bank, it would have at least made a little bit of interest. Get out of my sight, you lazy man. You're sacked. And he took that servant's bag of money and gave it to the first servant. And so off they went. The man with the money and his two hard-working servants off to bigger and better things. And the third servant, he just walked away sadly in search of another job. The bags of money that in the story uh, represent the gifts or the talents that God has given us. We're all good at different things and we're all good at lots of things actually, even if we don't always think that's true. Sometimes we compare ourselves to other people, other people at school or other people in our family and we think, well, I'm not as clever, I'm not as good at writing or reading or running or playing football or whatever. But what you need to do is to look at yourself. Don't think about other people, think about you. What are you good at? What can you do that somebody else can't perhaps? For example, let me give you an example. I, rubbish at drawing, absolutely terrible, can't draw for toffee, but I am good at writing stories. This parable teaches us that we should use our gifts for good and as God wants us to. 
When we use our gifts and talents as God wants us to, then they grow and they get better, like the servants in the parable with their money. So back to my story writing. I write lots of stories to tell in schools to help children understand about God. So by using that talent for good, for how God wants me to use it, I get better at it. Maybe if I drew and I practiced drawing and I was using it for God, maybe that would grow too, but it really isn't one of my talents that God's given me. But actually the story writing is a talent that God has given me and God has blessed that gift and helped it to grow because I've used it for him. So think about the talents God's given you and it doesn't matter what they are really. How can you use them to serve God? Might not be obvious right now, that's okay, that's fine. But as you think about it, pray about it, ask God to show you how to use it for good and he will show you and you'll be able to serve God with your gift. I've sent you with the email with, the, with this on a template of a coin to represent the coins in the story. On the coin I'd like you to draw a picture or a symbol of your talent or you can write it down if you prefer to and colour it in. Then keep it somewhere safe to remind you to use that talent for God. And for our prayer today, firstly, there's a prayer for you to say on your own, using your coin that you've just done. Thank God for your talents and tell him how you'll use your talents for him. And if you're not sure how you'll use that talent for him, now's the perfect time to ask him. And then there's a prayer to say with your family. So let's pray that prayer together now. Father God, we thank you for the many different blessings, gifts, talents and resources that you give us, each according to your will. Help us to use them to the best of our ability to bring glory to you. Amen.